What's up, everybody? Big Kenny here, and we're going to be talking about an upgrade to Elgato's Dream Deck Plus. Check it out. So if you own a Wave XLR and a Stream Deck Plus, to have both of them on your desk takes up some room. Well, Elgato listen to those concerns and those complaints. Check this out. Elgato just released the XLR dock. This dock replaces your Wave XLR. Bam. So what you do here is, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you in real time here. What's gonna happen is you unplug your Stream Deck Plus, okay? You have two little screws at the bottom. So when you buy your Stream Deck Plus, this what comes in your package of two screws and at the bottom um, bracket that holds it, the stand. You're gonna take these two screws out. Save those two screws. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna insert the USB here, USB-C into the slot. It's gonna snap. Those screw holes should line up. Drop your screws in. Be with you momentarily. And there you go. That's all it is to it right there. Now you have your XLR connected to your Stream Deck Plus. For those of you that do have a Stream Deck Plus, you know that Wavelink software comes with your Stream Deck Plus. So to have an XLR attachment that attaches in the back is absolutely amazing. It's a game changer. So now if you like, you can get rid of this Wave XLR and attach everything to your Stream Deck Plus. So let's swap everything over. I'll be with you shortly. And there you have it. What you're listening to now is my Wave DX connected to my XLR dock. I'm no, you, no longer using the Wave XLR. So once you hook up your XLR dock to the back of your Stream Deck Plus, what you're gonna do is you disconnect your Wave XLR completely from your PC because once you open up your Wavelink software, it is gonna tell you that you have two devices connected and to disconnect one. Once you do that, you open up your Wavelink software, uh, you are going to update it because there's an update. Update your software, disconnect your XLR dock, and then do the update, reattach it, and what you're gonna do is open up your Wavelink software. Also, don't forget, once you do that, you're going to have to go into your Stream Decks and change out your Wave XLR. Everything's going to say Wave XLR on it. Your microphone is. So what you're going to do is you're going to swap it over to the XLR dock. Super simple, nothing crazy, but make sure you do that because um, if you don't, you are not going to, I'm sorry, your Wavelink software is not going to pick up your microphone and it's not going to pick up what's going on. So please, please do not forget to do that, okay? Now, there is a price difference between the Wave XLR and the XLR dock. The Wave XLR is $159.99 and the XLR dock is $119.99. But right now, Algato has a bundle deal going on for the dock, uh, XLR dock and the Stream Deck Plus for $299.99. Or if you already have yourself the Stream Deck Plus, you get the dock for $119.99. Down below, I do have an affiliate link. And the promo code ZZ-BK save you 5% off your purchase. Now, that one doesn't stack with the deal going on with the bundle. But like I said, if you already have a Stream Deck and you're looking to just get rid of your Wave XLR and um, kind of compress everything on your desk, the XLR dock is absolutely amazing and you can save. Hopefully that helped a bunch. Thank you for sticking around. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you did enjoy the video, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and let me know down in the comments if, uh, if you think that the um, XLR dock is definitely worth it or maybe not. Maybe you just kind of stick around with your um, XL, or Wave XLR and if you don't mind having two devices on your desktop. Like I said, I appreciate your time. Thank you for sticking around. And as always, catch you on the flip side.